I'm Carl Winter and I'm a food toxicologist at the University of California at Davis and what I do in my work is, is food safety. Um, I study a lot with, about chemical contamination in food but a lot of my outreach concerns microbiological contamination of foods because that tends to be responsible for all, millions of cases of foodborne illness every year. I've always been musical, and after about 20 years of getting away from the music, I decided to try to incorporate music as a way to educate about food safety. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been wildly successful beyond any dreams that I had. It's the type of thing that if you tried to do it, you would fail miserably, but as long as you don't try so hard, uh, you kind of let it go where it, where it goes. The Department of Agriculture has its own song, the USDA, which is derived from the YMCA. And more recently, they've provided me with uh, some funding to study how to incorporate the food safety music into traditional food safety educational curricula. We, we received uh, three years of funding. The, the project is just finished, although we've got a couple of papers that, that we're still working on. And we looked at different audiences in the different states. So we looked at food service workers, we looked at culinary arts students, we've looked at high school students, we've studied uh, after school summer care programs with kids as well. And we've finally gone beyond just anecdotal accounts of how the music has been used to actually demonstrate statistically that people are benefiting from the use of the music. When I first started I had no vision of using this as a real educational tool. It was more just a fun uh, activity, a hobby for me, directed more towards my academic colleagues. But as I have continued doing this over the past 10 years, I have found that kids are particularly receptive to these messages, and it's a great way to get information out. Some chef is going to hurt someone before the night is through. Serving up some chicken, that's undone. The feedback has generally been very positive. We're all looking for creative ways to educate people. This is not uh, supposed to be a replacement for a lot of our traditional education, but I think it supplements our educational processes really well. Didn't know I'd soon be entertained by salmonella and the pathogen. There's gonna be a stomach ache tonight. I'm really interested in trying to find ways to empower consumers to make sure that they can prevent uh, the spread of microorganisms in their food so they can be safe and their families can be safe. There's a lot of things that consumers can do. One of the most important things, we hear it all the time, is just washing your hands. If your hands are contaminated with microorganisms, it provides a wonderful way to get those microorganisms into your food and other parts of, of your life. So just washing your hands appropriately is important. Cooking food appropriately, if you're cooking meats, poultry, you want to make sure that you cook them to an appropriate temperature to make sure that you can kill the microorganisms that might potentially cause harm. We've seen a lot of cases where there have been undercooked meat and poultry products that have resulted in people becoming ill. So that's an important issue. Another thing to do is to use common sense and to avoid cross-contamination of microorganisms in your food. For example, you have a whole chicken and you're cutting it on a cutting board, well then don't use that same cutting board to make a sandwich uh, or to chop up some vegetables. Isolate the microorganisms there, get them off of the cutting board, wash that, clean it before you use it again. Uh, that's very important. Refrigerating foods is very important. Uh, we, you know, particularly with leftovers. After about two hours, you want to make sure that you can take those leftovers and, and get them in the refrigerator. Don't wait any longer than that because that gives these microorganisms a great opportunity to grow. Uh, so these are just very simple, common sense methods. I'm not the only person in the world who has ever considered these, but I think the music does provide a way to supplement a lot of the other information about that. Please visit foodsafe.ucdavis.edu to learn more about Carl Winter, his research, and his music. Twelve Diseases That Changed Our World. Available today from ASM Press at eStore.asm.org.